Good morning. This is a hard video for me to make, but I gotta make it. At the beginning of this month, Joey Ito resigned from his position as the director of the MIT Media Lab. It is because it was revealed that he was taking donations to fund the Media Lab and also his own personal business ventures with money from Jeffrey Epstein, who is a known sex trafficker. This was hard to hear because a lot of the work that I do is directly inspired by Joey Ito's work. So what am I supposed to do now? To give a little background on how I became interested in Joey Ito and his work, in 2016, he published a book called Whiplash, which you've probably heard me talk about. Joey Ito also has a podcast in which he interviews his colleagues and friends. And through this podcast, I learned about Virginia Heffernan, Nadia Peek, Seth Godin, and more. It served as a springboard for my own personal study. My own podcast, The Orbit, was modeled directly after Joey Ito's conversation podcast. So, I had to think, what does this mean? Because in a lot of my videos, I reference Joey Ito, and now he is just revealed to have made some really bad decisions. What this ultimately means for me is that Joey Ito's work uh, and Joey Ito's actions need to be held side by side, and I need to have a level of uh, just hard scrutiny now when I look at his work and reference it. The ideas he presented in his book Whiplash are things that stuck with me in terms of how to think about accelerating change in technology. And so now, in thinking about that, I have to hold it up to his actions and just be very, very critical of the things that I'm reading. I think the best way to describe it is I can't really look up to Joey Ito as a teacher. And instead, I have to use his work and change my perspective into one of a stronger skepticism and criticalness. Which I guess is what we all should be doing with any kind of academic research or work. We need to be really vigilant as far as what is this person trying to communicate, what is their background, where are they coming from, and if we take in all the information, we can form our own opinions and ideally make better decisions based on the facts. This is just a roundabout way of saying, I am disappointed in Joey Ito and what happened. And as someone who consumed a lot of his work, I will have to continue to reference it, but with a greater understanding of Joey Ito, the person, in relationship to his work. And I think that's the long and short of it. I wanted to like discuss more, but it's, it's very difficult for me and I'm not an expert um, in this field. But yeah, I think that's all I got.